morning, brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing today? I pray you're all blessed. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about today. So I pray that the Holy Spirit guides this message today. And that one of you get something from this. I've been thinking about this channel and... what the purpose of it is. And I, I just kind of gone over, for me, what it is, and it, it's uh, almost like a working journal that I'm so very blessed and thankful to be able to create and hopes that I can reach one person thinking on what our testimonies mean and, and why we go through these things is so that we can we can relate with one another that we can share these bonding moments whether it be and if you think about it right now the gospel is being preached to the four corners of the earth brothers and sisters right now as we speak this platform being used to gather intel by the enemy to find out where we're at and a temperature read how ripe the fruit is, is being used against him. Because we're, we're able to get Jesus Christ's message out. And so I was thinking about the channel and, you know, what really all I am is a filthy rag that gets on here every day and just shares what I see every day. And I'm very thankful for any of you that, that decide to watch it. I do recommend get outside, you guys. Go for a walk in our beautiful Father's creation. And just like you, working every day, trying to work out our salvation. Now I pray that these tools that we're using are not idols. And I'm working on that daily as well you find the urge to pick up this thing before the Bible, you've got some work to do. And I'm just as guilty, and forgive me, Father. Now, these things that I talk about when I'm on here are just experiences that I'm going through in my journey. And I just want to share how good the Lord is out of this one tiny little slice, this little example of my existence. And knowing that it will be able to relate to a lot of you and what you're going through as well. In my country of Canada here, we were known for a lot of years as the, the friendly country, uh, willing to take anybody in. Um, you know, they did those ridiculous surveys of top places in the world to live. I remember Canada always being pretty close to the top and that just being a prideful thing for everybody. Yes, there's that word pride. And I feel that that momentum's starting to slip because we are, are showing our true colors. And knowing what we know with these new eyes, brothers and sisters, that this is not something that just happened overnight. There's no way. And I'm going to give you an example of that. My province of Saskatchewan is, if I'm not mistaken, the only one left that hasn't mandated any passports. Now, it was us in Alberta. Alberta is where uh, Karen Supernatural Life lives. But I just see overnight they just mandated the passports. So another one fell. And if you do, and this is the great part about uh, YouTube or having your video testimony, whether it doesn't matter what walk of life you're in, you can go back and, and check on things that a person has said. And the premier or the governor, same thing, of Alberta, you know, no, there's no way we're not doing that. There's no way we're not infringing. We're not doing, you know, because he knows who lives in his, in his province. It's a very oil rich province, a very conservative province. 
if that's the label we're going to use for the day. But he knows that people, you know, value their freedoms and their right to do whatever they feel they should be able to do. And so these politicians, you know, although speaking out both sides of their mouth, will always tailor to whatever the the populace is, whatever is popular at that time so that it can win over the majority because that's what keeps them empowered. That's what keeps them employed. But more importantly, gives them their power, which men love to get drunk off power. And so this man buckling, I, I could, you just see it and feel it in your spirit that someone in a black suit sat him down and said, listen, enough, enough is enough. Or whether it was all part of the plan. But God is control, you guys, it is in control, you guys very, very blessed and thankful and and knowing that, you know, this province that I'm in is going to be one of the last to fall. Praise God. But none of these things are going to keep us safe. You see, our enemy likes to, to make us think that it's getting better. It's getting better. First of all, getting better according to what? Your old sinful, prideful, boastful life? But always making you, giving you these lulls of out here, it's, look at, oh yeah, it's not so bad. And then dropping the hammer and dropping the hammer. And if you look at these numbers and all the things that are happening in the world right now, it is laughable at how it all started off. And just, you can see it. You can see the agenda. It, it's, at this point now, when I try to explain it to somebody, let's just say at work, that even has received the things that we're talking about here they actually see the agenda and so this agenda is basically pushing people into a state of not knowing exactly what the next move is and the fear of not knowing and so when you've got these brothers and sisters that just love their things because that's all they know if you do not have the love of Jesus Christ, you are empty. And so therefore you're filling these empty holes with these things. And so they're just trying to fill it, trying to fill it, trying to fill it. And just the, the reasoning of why I've heard people wanting to take it are all over the board, you guys. Which shows me there's such there's so much confusion. It, it's, uh, it's absolutely wild. I actually got a co-worker driving beside me right now. Hey, buddy. <laughs> As he sees me talk to myself in the vehicle. Now, um, I don't care, you guys. This this is where a point of where we need to boastfully, and, and I'm not talking about that arrogant, prideful boast, but I'm talking about to step out boldly in your faith and to not worry about what anybody else thinks of you. And my story is an open book to a lot of people at my workplace and a lot of people know who I am a lot of people uh, have an in-depth understanding of who I used to be and so they hold me to that still and so I see it with discernment comes a lot of different things and one of them, one of them is to pick up the spirit in which they're portraying either to another co-worker or to you or whatever the case may be but the, I know how people think of me, and it doesn't matter, you guys. It doesn't matter what the evil of the world thinks of you, because at the end of the day, we are here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to love our neighbors as ourselves, and that's it. Regardless of whatever the situation is, regardless of how they come at you, we have to stay solid in that, and it's it starts to get easier and easier when we know that this is our only mission you guys when we live in a world where all of our brothers and sisters are running around like chickens with their heads cut off because they don't know where to go they're, they're being pulled in so many different directions you know do this do that say this say that but w with Jesus it, it's very he's made it very simple for us and these commandments that we've been given by our father is teaching us how to do that 
And so we just need to stay focused on loving our neighbor. Putting God above everything else, always. Repenting and and moving away from our sins, refining ourselves daily. Don't sit stagnant, you guys. And I know something's going to happen, whether you sin or whatever the case may be, and then the enemy's going to swoop in and tell you a wide variety of different things. Just always remember, he's a liar. And will always say whatever he needs to to try to stop you in your tracks. And my message today, especially for, for new brothers and sisters that may be watching this, that are new to the walk, I know this may seem overwhelming right now. And I know you've felt inside of you something more. Because we're all built that way. Whether you want to deny it or say to yourself that that's not happening, again, that is the enemy, which is a liar, trying to tell you differently. I was trying to explain to my sister at work, why wouldn't a person want to step out in faith to search for Jesus Christ knowing that he offers eternal life with a beautiful creator that loves us as opposed to the alternative such as you are useless this whole situation is senseless we're just randomly floating through a vast space of nothingness with nothing after and all it takes is to sit for a moment and look around you to understand how complex everything is for you to use your logical brain to understand that that makes no sense that this is by accident and again there will always be a theory always there's always a theory you can come up with your own theories you're actually encouraged to come up with your own theories. That's what school is for. It's so that you can search and try to find an answer, anything other than our father. Because even the school system right now, the, the Catholic school system that is teaching our children, talks about sin and encourages sin every single day. I know this might sound like a bunch of rambling, you guys, and uh, I I may not even post this, but anybody that does take the time to listen to this or can relate to this, that's that's what this is for, you guys, and and I'm very thankful that you're here, and I love you dearly, and I just want to give you an encouraging word today to keep focused on the things that matter, and that, that is Jesus Christ and loving those that are around you. If you're running out of people around you because they're getting knocked off one by one to the world, that's okay. Continue to love them until your last breath, you guys, because for a lot of these individuals that we are running into in our lives, this will be the last sense and all they'll ever know of love. So how beautiful would it be to stand in front of Jesus Christ knowing that you did everything in his power that he granted you to try to show every brother and sister some love while you're here because that is your job, you guys. So anyways, I love you. I pray this reached one of you. Stay blessed, you guys. Continue searching. He will protect you. No matter what happens and what we are about to go through or what we're going through right now, there's always a way. Always. And he's always been there. There's not one moment in your life that you haven't gone through that's been hard. And he's taken you out of it one way or another. It may not have looked like what you needed at the time, but then, you know, maybe even years have gone by. And then hindsight, you've looked back and went, huh. You are so good. Because the enemy tries to make us think what we think we need. But there's only one that does know what we need. 
and we have to trust in that. So I'm almost at work, you guys. I love you dearly. Have an amazing day. Father willing, I'll do another one when I can. And uh, keep smiling, you guys. Take care. God bless.